what? How are you doing? I am so happy to finally meet you. Oh, thank you. And in my rehearsal togs. And and I'm so happy you dressed up. Yeah, well, you know, I, I would have worn something nicer if I knew we were going to be filmed. I just thought we were coming to rehearsal. This is my usual rehearsal look. This is just your daytime look. Yes, yes, a little <laughs> Anne-Margaret. <laughs> So you're joining the show with the incomparable Leslie Jordan. Amazing. How is that for you? You know, I, I laugh so hard during rehearsals. I can't wait for people to see just what we actually put on stage because the rehearsals have been so much, so entertaining. You wouldn't believe it. He is hilarious. He's so cute. And you guys have such great chemistry from what I saw in the rehearsal I today. I think so, too. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, uh, he's so much fun. And uh, we get to play villains, which, you know, we're like, uh, uh, you know, like on Bullwinkle, Boris and Natasha. We're kind of like that, but country version. <laughs> Scandalous. I love it. So you're Known around the country for your cheese whiz soprano and yes, all over the place. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so what is it like going from your your Varla Jean self into a character, another character? Well, you know, I've been really lucky that I've been traveling around. You know. Uh, the whole United States doing different plays, you know, for years now, and this is the first time uh, that I've gotten an off-Broadway show. Now, I was in Chicago on Broadway briefly, and I went on tour with that show, but this is just, you know, to play a villain. I usually get cast as the, the ingenue, but now I'm the cougar, yes, from ingenue to cougar, and uh, this is, it's just so fascinating to, to be the villain. I usually get cast as the sweet lady, so I love playing the villain. You're the sweet lady in my favorite movie, Girls Will Be Girls. Oh, thank is you. Which We just filmed a sequel. Oh, thank Jesus. Girls to be girls 2012 it's a disaster film in fact it is the well, end of the Eden world Harris, it is a disaster <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait for you to see girls it'll be out in 2012 i'm excited well it's so nice to meet you and i can't wait to thank see you, the show. Thank, thank you thank you Good to see you. Mwah. 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 the Ever so adorable, Leslie Jordan. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thanks. So you're working with one of my favorites, Varla Jean Merman. How is that? Well, you know, Varla and I both do one-person shows, mm -hmm. so we've sort of crossed paths over the year. There's the chitling circuit for black people, and then for gay people, <laughs> there's this circuit where, you know, Key West, P-Town, oh, hello, darling, how are you? San Francisco, hello, <laughs> darling, how are you? You know, but we've never really been good friends, but we've really, really bonded. Uh, over this uh, piece, we sort of play the Boris and Natasha. Yeah. You know, we're like the evil, <laughs> evil characters uh, in this piece where uh, she's the queen of Nashville, the aging kind of over the hill queen of Nashville. Oh. <laughs> and I'm her unscrupulous sort of uh, cohort cohort in crime. And uh, we're trying to steal a song away from the sweet little Kyle Dean Macy, who's won this. Just adorable, right? Oh, my gosh. He's just precious. <laughs> and that voice. I oh, my gosh. That same voice. Now, this is the first time I've done a musical ever. How is that for you? Because we all know you as, like, a big TV star and, and one-man show. So how's that? Well, it's hard. You know, in TV, you mess up. Oh, oh stop, stop, stop. <laughs> just like do. I did today. You know, yeah. stop, stop. Let's start over. Well, you know, I've got to learn how to hit that pitch. And, you know, we have this choreographer that comes in, and he's brilliant. But all these kids are Broadway babies. Yeah. You know, so that choreographer will go, and a one. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, hold up. Slow down a minute. <laughs> and they're, they're always like, okay, now you sing the middle. I said, honey, I'm going to sing whatever comes out of my <laughs> mouth. Whatever the I hell. I don't know. But, you know, they, these kids can just read that music. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful experience. And I think it's the perfect time because I've been doing these one-man shows sure. and there, it's kind of a rest actually because it's not I'm not carrying the whole yeah, show you have, a, you have an ensemble to back you yeah, up yeah and I'm a, I'm an actor for hire and I'm having to learn how to be a team player yes. you know that's not always easy <laughs> for a big show off like me a team player and um, but I don't think that I have been this excited about a project in 30 years well I thought you were I, terrific in the rehearsal I loved it I'm excited to see the full thing oh and listen the costumes, I and mean, we have William Ivy Long, he's won like five Tonys. With The costumes are brilliant. Everything about it, you know, is just brilliant. It's big, it's old-fashioned. Big, big old-fashioned, over-the-top, and gay. You know, I, I, read, I, read, I read like the reviews of, of the Mormon, the Book of Mormon, mm -hmm. and I thought, our show's not edgy. And, but you know what? It doesn't have to be. Doesn't our have show, to be. No, our show is big and loud and old-fashioned and toe-tapping. And even though you've got a six-foot-four drag queen <laughs> in the lead, it's family. It's a family show. Yeah. You bring your family. Well, I love that I saw like the tap dance numbers. It just seems very like just musical oh, theater. It just is. fun musical theater. It is. It's well, I wonderful. love that. It's Thank good you. to see you and congratulations. Good to see you. Good yes. to see you again. Most of your fans know you from Next to Normal. Yes. And this is obviously very different. Very different. So how is that going from that mindset of, you know, this, the one character, this more, you know, upbeat kind of. Totally. It is, world. it's like a total one. Let me tell you, it is completely different. But that's the reason I wanted to do it, really. I wanted to do something 
completely opposite. Um, I did that show for about a year and a half, and I, you know, I, I really was just ready to do something, fight, and um, upbeat. and upbeat. Yeah, totally. So, and, and this with, is it. And working with uh, uh, Leslie Jordan and Violet Jean Marmon, who are like ridiculous. What yeah, is that like? Yeah, terrific. <laughs> <laughs> all we, <laughs> I've just said, told people, all we do is sit in here and just laugh. I mean, literally, it's like. Leslie could read the phone book to me. Watching them on stage, and I can't wait to get into the theater just to see. The costumes are unbelievable, and I think that's going to add so much to, to the comedy, especially Varla, because <laughs> those 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 costumes are like a whole other character in the show, which you didn't get to see today, but um, you'll see once we get to the theater. Have you seen her solo shows before? I never have, but I've I've been a fan of Girls of Time, which I love, oh love, God, love, love, love that movie. Ever. She oh, told no. me they filmed the second one. I know, I know, I can't wait. I can't wait, but I love, love, love that movie, and so I was really excited. I was like, Marla Jean Merman, that's awesome. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you also, in addition to all these fun shows, you had a big year. You've been in Out Magazine like a thousand times. Uh -huh. So what is that like for you as a, as a Broadway actor to kind of like blow up nationally? Uh, it's been great. Actually, it's been really gratifying. I, I'm always like, I contributed to the It Gets Better project. Mm -hmm. um, you know, last year when kind of people were doing that, and um, I contributed to the book that is that just recently oh, came okay. out. And um, and that's just been amazing because I mean I get emails, letters constantly from from kids that have seen it or, or read the passage in the book and and I think it was uh, great you know but like literally it's I mean I, I've probably gotten I, I don't know a hundred emails from people saying that you know I was going to kill myself or just something awful but that's what's been the the best thing is that I I feel like I've been able to use my voice to speak out on things that I feel passionately about. That's that's what's been great. Well, that's really awesome. And keep at it and keep doing it. And I can't wait to see the, the full show on stage. Thank you.